seven a now. Um, we are given a triangle, okay, and we can see it is not a right angle triangle, okay. And whenever we do not have a right angle triangle, what we cannot use is the kung fu expression, okay, which is sukatwa, which is sukatwa. Okay, do not use this because this is only for right angle triangles okay so what we can use we will see there are only two formulas left two rules left if we if we do not have a right angle triangle it is either sine rule or cosine rule okay now how do we know which one to use for sine rule you should know how many angles and sides okay for sine rule there are two angles and two sides for cosine rule there are one angle and three sides now when I say two angles and two sides it means any one of them can be unknown so they are dealing with four and out of the four any one can be unknown in this question we are given one side we are given the second side we are given one angle and we are being asked the third side so it's three sides and one angle okay so what we have to use is cosine rule and which we will use now so cosine rule is a square is equals to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a okay cos a let me write the cos again cos a now I will just substitute the values and remember this angle if this is my cos then the B and C will be these two sides okay the opposite side is the A if this is my cos A then this opposite side is A and then the other two any one of them can be B and C okay so it will be a and I will I will this square will becomes a square root on the other side okay so my a is equals to b square which is 8.4 plus 7.6 square minus 2 times 8.4 times 7.6 times cos 62 okay and as I said this square will become a square root on the other side okay so get find this and the square root your answer and what you will get is 8.269 okay you will get 8.269 and I'm all I always show four figures because my final answer has to be correct to three significant figures okay 8.27 part 2 the area of triangle PQR and whenever you see the area of triangle what may come to your mind is half times base times height okay and do we have to use this no why not because this is only for right angle triangle again like the Sukatoa okay this is only for the right angle triangle those ones okay but this is not a right angle triangle so what is the formula it's half a b sine c now why there are three different a b and sine c as you can see three different letters why because the sine c should be the angle between the su the between the two sides okay the angle between the two sides this is if this is my sine then this will be my a and this will be my b okay so it will be half times a which is 8.4 times 7.6 times sine c which is sine 62 okay and you will get 28.18 okay you will get 28.18 and so on and I will round it to 28.2 okay now part B 
part B has five marks okay there are a lot of marks and if you are unsure of any part of this whole question whatever part you know answer that part okay assuming numbers for example you know the second half you don't know the first half just write the second half at least okay so you get some marks if there are some missing values you think and I cannot just work it out assume those numbers and you will uh, you will uh, you will get some marks instead of getting a not okay instead of getting a zero now we are given the bearing the bearing of uh, the diagram shows the position of three small islands G H and J the bearing of H from G is 0 4 5 okay so from a G so we'll start from the north of a G okay to H I started from G to H, and this is my 45 okay and then we, I have the second one is the bearing of J from G so again we'll start from G here we go from G to H and it is this whole thing is 126 okay and the bearing of J from H so we will start from H and to J and this is 164 this is 164 okay now what the next thing is the distance H J is 63 this is already marked we have to find calculate the distance gj this is what we want okay this is what we want this distance now we have already used the cosine rule in part a so most probably we will not use it again and we are being asked this side and there is one other side and then the rest of the things is ha is uh, we have to do with the angle so probably again we can we might use the sine rule here okay but still let's see okay and if you want to use the sine rule I said you should know two angles in two sides this is one side this is one side and one uh, which is unknown and if we were to know this side we should know this angle its opposite angle okay and if you if we know this side and we should know its opposite angle which is this one and this one is easy because this whole was 126 out of the whole 126 if we deduct this if we deduct this 45 we will be remaining with this side okay and I when you deduct you will get 126 minus 45 you will get 81 so this side I know now it says 81 okay and uh, what about this side for this side you should know one rule if there are two parallel lines and then there is a line passing through these two internal angles they should add up to 180 they should add up to 180 okay these two now this is not the less than sign okay and uh, so again this north and this north they are two parallel lines and this line is cutting through this is one interior angle 45 and this is the other interior angle okay so these two should add up to 180 in other words if I deduct 45 from 180 I will get this one okay so 180 minus 45 it is 135 okay this one here is 135 so 135 plus 45 is 180 now I know this I know this and all one more thing I know is if I start from north and all the way I make the circle to the north the whole circle is 360 okay and it's if from the whole circle I deduct this part and I deduct this part I will be remaining with this part which is what I am looking for so 360 minus 164 minus 135 360 minus 131 I will get 61 bingo okay this is very important this angle and this angle was very important to get the full five marks okay so I got the two angles and I will just use the sine rule here because two angles and two sides so what I want is the side X over I its opposite its opposite angle which is which is sine 61 is equals to the other side which is 63 over its opposite angle which is 81 okay 
now what I will use is the cross multiplication here because I want the x alone on the left hand side so sine 61 will be multiplied with 63 and I will end up with x is equals to 63 times sine 61 whole over sine 81 okay and what you will get is 55.78 55.78 and so on always show the four figures to round it off to the three significant figures which is 55.8 okay to three significant figures and again if for example you never got this angle let's say this was I think it was no oh, yeah this one I think was a little bit tough so if you didn't get this 61 assume any number here for against of 61 and so that you get your marks for using the formula correctly for substituting the values and working it out so you will lose just one or two marks out of five which is not bad than losing all your five marks okay and we are done